Welcome, my name is MJ Pestridge. Welcome to another P3D video. Um, well, welcome to another DirectX 12 video, in fact, because um, it's back. <laughs> um, in the recent updates to version 5.3, um, there has been a increase in prepared, and I'm sure in, 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 in games as well, like, you know, this still happens, but there has been an increase in the DXGI error that has been occurring. I, I myself have even experienced it in the uh, tested of 5.3 so um i thought i'd re kind of do not only this video to kind of fully explain exactly what's going on um because i think there seems to be a lot of confusion in especially in the p3d community about exactly what a dxgi error is um and also i've updated my fix um that two years ago sort of well i did say it was a hundred percent you know cure um but that was two years ago back when i didn't actually fully understand what a dxgi error was um i just knew how to prevent it and i created a uh, a sort of temporary fix that wasn't very intrusive on your system and i'll explain that in a second um so it did limit the amount of dxgi errors but it didn't cure it um, this one can be a total cure my latest updated one can be a complete elimination it's not advisable to use it in this way it's set up like that by default but i do advise you to go in and and change a single value in it um in order for it to be less of a permanent fix anyway let me explain so first off what is a dxgi error okay um it's a it's a direct x graphical you know crap out basically um when your gpu your uh, graphics card is trying to render something and is hung on it it's like can't figure it out can't render it it's a corrupt it's an incompatible file it's a problem right and basically um it's kind of hangs a little bit trying to churn out the data for it for the render of your display and windows is always obviously monitoring your gpu and if it sees that it's hanging because obviously your gpu is the most important part of your whole setup because it, it gives you the display and if it's hanging on a particular th single file for uh, two seconds right it resets it and goes today you know and so it basically kicks its butt and says reset which unfortunately for p3d completely just crashes out the rendering and uh, rendering engine and and that's it you have to restart your sim um you don't have to restart your pc though although probably advisable too but you just need to sort of restart your sim and um if you load into exactly that same spot you will have exactly that same error if you were to load in somewhere else and it wasn't a default file that is causing this um then you probably wouldn't get that error again it's most likely a single file in a single location that is causing this now this single file single location can be a third-party add-on it can even be the default sim it can be a system file it can be a corrupt um c plus plus redistributable or runtime you know what is sort of the recommended steps to sort of troubleshoot this is if you do get a dxgi error i personally recommend opening up your classic control panel going to uninstall a program scrolling down to the the microsoft section here and you've got these redistributables here um running and clicking change and it'll pop up and just click repair and uh, yeah we don't want to repair them um and and do that for every redistributable you see and not only that if you've got any dot net cores as well do the same thing with that as well um and if you have any uh, desktop runtimes, do that as well. Click change and repair. Um, now, this isn't going to fix the issue, but it will just refresh any corrupt files. That's that's the issue of why you pro perhaps, perhaps got a DXJ error. Another one, of course, is opening down here, the search engine thing here. Type in CMD and open it as a command prompt and then running 
SFC space forward slash or backslash scan now and this should only literally take a couple of minutes um, and it will basically see if you've got any corrupt files and replace them now this repairing and, and also do a, re a repair of the client of your sim as well but this repair job only works if you haven't got corrupt installations of what it's taken from already on your system so right now windows like when it installed it it put a clean copy you know on um on your system and it pulls files from that clean copy now if that clean copy has become become corrupt boom you're going to be reinserting corrupt files um and they can come become corrupt through like windows updates um or even just general use of your pc um, it's the same with the sim files it's the same with your runtimes you could be recalling information from a corrupted um installation anyway so um hopefully you don't have to go to the most extreme route of reinstalling your entire pc and sim that's drastic and we don't want that so what i did two years ago is come up with a reg fix now this reg fix all it does is delay the time windows will take to reset your graphics card if it's hung on a particular file now it being hung on a particular file does not mean that file is actually corrupt or actually you know needs replacing it's it could be a perfectly good file it just simply could be that it's it's taken a little bit longer than two seconds to work it out and that is it not a big deal so what i did two years ago was give your gpu um, a little bit more of a chance i gave it eight seconds rather than two seconds and about 80 percent of the dxj errors it completely cured that's why i put the 100 percent working fix because for most everybody it did here we go we, we haven't had any problems on the pc beautiful um, if you do have problems it will automatically fix it same with running repair on p3d your run times but again if it's pulling from corrupt files you still will get the dxgi error really you don't want to have to run this fix of mine because if you run this fix as it is right now you will eliminate the dxgi error completely you know in other words windows will no longer tell you when you have um your gpu is hung on a particular file it basically completely disables that feature okay now if you're getting dxgi errors right left and center that's a good thing if not it's a bad thing so this line of code here completely disables the dxgi error from even popping up so in other words windows is not even checking your gpu okay um and and to be honest it should really so i recommend taking this last zero open open this up in a, in a word editor but don't open it up in notepad open you know go and download visual studio code i recommend that and and put a three at the end of this okay now what this does and save it click file and save and what this does basically is it sets the default level okay um it it doesn't it the default level is with this sort of windows checking the gpu as default on and then what i've done basically is set a 60 second and a 20 second marker for when it should actually reset your gpu so you could still get the dxgi error even with this fix here but it's going to be less frequent because your windows is giving your gpu at least 20 to 60 seconds to sort itself out um and which case your gpu will have either you know just hung and if it does hang for 20 seconds there is a problem um but it should have resolved it by that point you know it might resolve it around five seconds or even 11 seconds so this this is an enhancement to my original fix but if you just like do you know what i know i've got a good installation and i know it's not going to crap out then leave it as is where it has all zeros at the end okay and that just disables the dxgi error um checker as it were from even popping up um the video guide text is literally a link to this video um, but this is in my discord i'm popping this in my discord come and grab it the link is there it's in the free flight sim assets channel and as soon as you have read the rules and has actioned what it says you will be able to grab this file now again 
this is a pure permanent cure to that error but you don't want it to be a permanent cure you do want your p your windows installation to check for problems that and it will alert you because it's a good indication if something has become corrupt or if you've i mean it, remember it still can happen if you max out your vram you know if you extend beyond what your physical card can do you will get the dxgi error again because it's simply for the fact is that um you know, your GPU is having problems. So if you do max out your VRAM, the DXGI error will occur as well. If it's having trouble computing a render, it will crap out again after two seconds with Windows default. So it is good to have this in because there could literally be a problem on your PC. Anyway, that's the fix, guys. Come and claim it. Come and grab it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, I'm running a competition or a giveaway, rather. Um, every month on my channel, I'm giving away 50 euros of SIM market vouchers. And at the end of this month, I um, will announce uh, the winner um, for the P3D. All you have to do to be in a chance to win 50 euros worth of SIM market vouchers is... Put a comment down in every one of my uh, p3d videos or any one of my p3d videos and be a subscriber to my channel and that is it and one lucky winner at the end of the month will be chosen thank you for watching take care and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye